Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca automation playlist and today we are going to discuss about another interesting topic or feature which is provided by Tosca. And today uh, I will show you how you can basically compare to Excel files which is a pretty common scenario in any automation you perform with any kind of application you always have some data in Excel files right and uh, in order to compare them either you can use some utilities provided by an automation tool or you have to build your own automation utility now in uh, tools like selenium uh, you need to use different libraries to basically access uh, or open or even compare the different excel files but uh, tosca already provides you with all of these uh, in the standard subset as a module okay so there are different modules uh, to access different excel files or you can also steer these excel files you can open them you can um, create entries or you can also save them right so basically you can perform all the things uh, with respect to the excel files using this uh, modules which are present in the standard subset now this is part of the excel engine uh, which is present in tosca and then uh, you can perform all these different operations using the different modules which are present okay so today um, i'm not going to show you how you can steer excel files basically uh, create or open excel files but i'm going to show you how you can compare the excel files maybe i will show you uh, in the next session um, how you can steer even uh, all the different excel files okay so uh, to compare excel files let's take an example and see how we can do this okay so i have already created a test case folder called excel engine and here uh, i have created a test case called compare excel okay so the first step is to get the tbox module okay uh, which is used for automation so um, the process is same you do a search and add test step and then try to find for a tbox excel um, something related to tbox excel right and that will give you the whole list you can see here there are lots of modules for uh, creating excel workbook uh, for deleting updating uh, closing opening right um, range manipulation so all the different uh, things which you need to do or perform uh, during automation uh, with respect to microsoft excel sheets you can use these different modules okay so we'll go through all these different modules uh, but today we are looking at the tbox excel one is to one file compare okay so this is the module uh, which we are going to use in order to compare to excel sheets okay so uh, you can either uh, compare all the sheets or you can compare uh, specific sheets right so there are some parameters which you need to fulfill okay before that so let's go ahead and add this module now and once you add this module you can see there are different parameters as i said okay for this or module attributes for this particular module and you need to provide a value or action mode depending on what you want to perform okay so the most uh, important things uh, to put here is the reference file okay so this is the file um, which will be as a reference point okay uh, and against this you will be comparing it with another file okay which will be our target file uh, you can also provide a reference password, the target password, if your file is password protected. Okay, uh, then uh, you can include uh, different cells data. Okay, so you can uh, tell whether um, you want to include uh, cells data. You can include different formats. You can include different objects. You can include different sheets. Okay, so you can specify all this information if you want to compare specific cells, specific format, or uh, specific objects. Okay, so uh, in this, uh, the most important is the include sheets part. Okay, and then the output part where you want to store your results. Okay, so if it's a failure, it will show you where the failure is happening, uh, which rows are not matching. Okay or if it is a pass uh, it won't be writing anything into the output part okay so these are all the uh, values which you need to provide now looking at the comparison so i have got two excel files here okay so here you can see uh, there is users and there is users one okay uh, mostly it contains uh, the similar data 
but I have changed one row. You can see here this test at gmail.com is one row which I have changed in both the sheets. It contains a list of different email address. The sheet name is email. Okay. And uh, the similar thing is present here except that one email address which is not present here. Okay. So currently my Excel sheets are not matching and I want to see whether Tosca is able to compare them and tell me that this uh, is not matching and tell me where it is not matching. Okay. What, um, what row is missing from that particular sheet, right? Okay, um, so we need to provide the reference file path. So this will be our reference file path users. Okay, so I'm going to copy this path here and put it here. So we'll say users, uh, you need to also provide the extension. So it will be XLSX. Okay, and uh, it will be the same for target except the name will change. We need to provide uh, the target file name here. So it is users one and then um, I don't have any password. I don't want to um, do this include sales data or format or objects. It's pretty much optional. Uh, you can either provide it's a data type is Boolean. So you can provide true and false here. Okay, so it will include the format. It will include the sales data and it will include the objects. Okay. Uh, but it's optional as I said uh, here most important thing is you can give the sheet names if you have multiple sheets Okay, you can give which sheet name you want to include and which sheet name you don't want to include Okay, so if you don't provide the name here the sheet name it will be excluded from the comparison, right? So our sheet name is email Okay, and uh, Let's put a semicolon here and then we need to provide a output path Okay, so my output path is this C training report inside this there is a results file. Okay, so I'm going to give uh, results and then uh, we have to also give the extension we will give txt. Okay, so here uh, the results will be written after this comparison is done. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, if you have got two Excel sheets, you can just provide the reference file path and the target file path and the sheet names which you want to compare and then the output path okay so these are the things you need to give in this particular tbox module now let's go ahead and run this in sketchbook and we'll see uh, what is the comparison result it will take a few seconds to compare uh, now it depends also on the data you have in these excel sheets um, and uh, accordingly the time will be taken okay so for me uh, the excel sheets don't match Okay, that's what we expected and you can see here it is saying Excel file uh, this does not match with this uh, and it will also tell the cell mismatch in email. So this is the reference value in this cell A49 is this and uh, target there is no value in cell A49. So clearly it is specifying uh, which cells are not matching in your Excel sheets. Okay. The same results uh, will also be available in this um, sheet. Okay, uh, let me refresh this just in case. Okay, and uh, when I open this, you will see uh, the same results. What we saw on the log info is recorded here as well. Okay, just for reporting purpose. So you can see here a uh, value in this is not matching with this value in this particular cell. Okay, and similarly, you will get results for all the uh, comparison which you have done for these two particular uh, Excel sheets. Okay, so that's how easy it is uh, to compare to Excel sheets. As I said, you can do a lot more um, using this Excel engine modules which are present in the T box. We'll see that uh, in a later session um, how you can steer different Excel sheets, create different values, or open them, save them, delete, update. So all kind of operations you can perform on the Excel sheets. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. Hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today. Uh, keep watching our videos uh, at our channel and don't forget to subscribe as lots more videos are coming up on Tosca and other automation tools. This will uh, help you keep learning Tosca in a most efficient manner. So until the next video, uh, keep watching and keep learning. We'll see you in the next video.